What is up, everyone? We are back with episode 22 of my Vault Hunter series. As you can tell from my voice, I'm feeling a little bit better. I know the last few videos I've probably sounded a little uh, less energetic, but uh, we had a, a bit of a cold, a bit of a flu going on here, but we're all good now. Uh, in between episodes, I pretty much did one thing. I built this base. Uh, base. I built this room, let's call it, um, for our vault stuff. Uh, it is under the water. If we zoom in here, right here, it is in the middle of our little uh, pipe. I have not built the space yet. I haven't done anything here. Uh, I looked at the next recipe for uh, our next crystal. It's it's doable, right? Uh, 185 bricks, six cakes, 65 fiennes. I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that. And some uh, gunpowder, which is all very doable. Uh, so we will be working on that probably between episodes. Uh, or I'll do some jump cuts or whatever. Um, what I want to do this episode, I want to... Unfortunately, today is Sunday. When I'm recording it is Sunday. I really want to try to get a raffle ticket before Sunday. What is that? Is that a... Just click. Uh, so I could get the... Oh, I have uh, some vandom stacking me. So I could get the raid box. Uh, but obviously that didn't happen. Uh, I wasn't able to get it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run um, a vault or two on camera. Uh, as I did uh, get my dank set up. So for the danks, once these things go away, let me just help them out here. There we go. Uh, for my danks, what I've set up, let me clear my inventory here. So I have a buffs and XP one. Uh, let me change that. Uh, oh, I don't want stone to be there actually. Uh, I don't want stone to be there. I want one piece of stone. Uh, pick up filtered. Here we go. So we have some of our buffs here. We have some bottles of enchanting. Uh, let's lock that. Oh, what did I just do? There we go. Uh, our apples uh, and, of course, some stone. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to throw those out. These should go in here, right? Yes. Uh, our next one is gems. Uh, most of the gems and, you know, things we get are the one is just random vault stuff and then the other one that is more random vault stuff. So I kind of sorted everything a little bit just so it makes our lives a bit easier here. Let me put this stone here. My refined storage is getting very full. Uh, so I think we'll need to, uh, you know, get that sorted very quickly. Um, let's grab a few potions here. I do still obviously want to grab some of these boxes to go with us uh, in our vault. I also do want to make a pack. So I believe we can make one of these, right? We need another alarm your gem. If you didn't see last episode, I did make this crafting grid. Combine it, packs will enchant, enhance it. I don't know what this does. I will only craft it. Oh, I already need vault blacksmith. So I can enchant this. All right. Bane out prods, efficiency. Yeah. Okay. Efficiency. I mean, we'll probably do efficiency, silk touch. Um, I'm breaking, right? I think are the enchants that I'm gonna I'm gonna toss on it. So let's see if I can find those here. Uh, efficiency, efficiency five. Let's find a silk touch. I can't put many on this sadly. Silk touch, and we need an unbreaking. I don't think we have any unbreaking spare at the moment. Uh, I believe I'll need to. Take a wild guess. We need a book. Uh, do I have any breaking books in here? Actually, let me check before I. Uh, I do not. Okay, let me grab a book. I did. Let me grab some emeralds. Grab some emerald and let's take a guess. What are you? I'm breaking three. First try. Woo. Okay, pick them back up and I'll toss them back in here. We'll eventually, uh, hopefully, get these guys sorted out here. Uh, but now we're going to make a pack so I'm breaking three, silk touch, and of course, efficiency five. Um, this is going to be our main tool in the vault uh, to make our lives a little bit easier. My my inventory is so cluttered here. Uh, let's throw it in here. Stuff that I don't need. Um, my magnet's dead. This one's not. Hopefully we can run you. I don't know where my pouch is. Did I lose my pouch? Uh, bag, there we go, 350, 60, 65. We could get a chest plate here, actually. Um, or we get a random item. I think our chest plate's fine right now, our vault chest plate. Uh, I did get this helmet that I actually did want to wear, right? 
for, yeah, so let's enchant this as well while we're here. We want protection and a breaking. So I probably should have got another uh, breaking book from that guy before I tossed him back in. Uh, do I have a, I really need to, to put, I guess I can put respiration on if I ever need it. I don't see why I would need it. Maybe if we get one of those aquarium rooms, fire protection, sharpness, mending, fire protection. Uh, I don't see any here. What about here? Fortune, efficiency, fire protection, protection four. Uh, and we'll get this, was it this guy again? Let's get another book. Let me, uh, can I make some books here? Need some more paper. Let me make some paper. And let's make some books. Cool, there's seven books. Let's get more emeralds. I'm just gonna make a bunch of, uh, if this is the right villager right here. It is not. Let's put him back. Let's grab this one. Right villager? Nope. Let's grab this one. Nope. Mending villager. Let's grab this one. Hey, I'm breaking. Let's grab as many books as we can here. That should be enough, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. He's going to not like me now. Uh, that is very unfortunate. Okay. Um, I need some levels. Let's grab some of these bottles of enchanting here. All right. Uh, we want a breaking, we want protection, and we want, we'll put that respiration on, I need nine. It's not really worth it, but just in case, you know, I'd rather have it and not need it than have it. Need it. And we got three extra breaking books, which is good. I'll put them in uh, this chest here, and I'll probably forget about them. Uh, I do have a bunch of tomes and stuff that I could use, right, at one point in time. Power, smite, I'm breaking, extra breaking, extra feather falling, right? Uh, impaling, luck of the sea, fortune, but I can't get any more fortune than I have. I do have an extra sharpness, two extra sharpnesses and extra thorns. So once we start getting like end-ish game where I get a piece that I really like, I think I'm going to start throwing those on it. Uh, let's grab our armor here. There we go. Let's grab our vault. Let's take this stuff off. Oh, I need to uh, put some shards on that. I forgot. Uh, shards. I, it's good to have a bunch of them from. What level is it? 44. So I need nine of these bad boys off. We're almost level 36, honestly. I could just. Let me make some burgers here. Oh, I have some. Let's just push to 36, honestly. We only need one burger. There we go. <laughs> make it. Uh, make it only need eight, right? Uh, then we want to throw this in here. We need eight levels. Let me grab these enchanted bottles again. And quickly get some eight levels. There we go. Easy peasy. We're going to toss this in. It needs level 36. We are indeed level 36. And oh, I actually really like that helmet. It kind of gives us a little halo. Uh, we also have huge shoulders in this. Um, cool. So that's that. So let's put some of this stuff back. I also put mending on my lucky hat because it did almost break uh, last episode as we saw because I was just using it well at the mob farm. Um, I can put this away. I can take two of these. So with the Danks, um, I need to, I don't need torches. I need to break chest or I need to throw stuff on the ground, right? So I can click control Q and drop stuff on the ground. Uh, I actually might make another magnet real quick. What do I need? One of these. Uh, apparently, I don't know if you can put unbreaking on these. I thought you could, but I guess maybe it was a bug. Uh, obviously, Batania does give you perma a permamagnet, which requires mana, but we're not there yet. Two of these, I think, will be fine. With my Danks, I should be able to save up for some room here. Um, I did... You know, there's the cake vault, right? Uh, I, obviously, it's an Easter egg, but Escal put it on one of his videos. Um, so I'm able to see that. I did also put some solar panels here, just so we burn through a little bit less coal. It's not enough. Like, if I disconnect this, we still lose power very slightly, right? These are making five a tick, five a tick or 50 FE a tick. And we're consuming right now. I, I, don't, I don't really understand, but yeah, so we're not getting enough power really uh, at the moment, which, you know, here we're getting five a tick, I think it is. 
Uh, so it's not really enough to keep our system fully. I think uh, working on some solar panels just so we have a renewable source and I don't have to worry about you know filling this constantly and also you know better for the environment. Uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a full vault with you guys on camera. Uh, I feel like we haven't seen a, a full vault in a while. I've been doing a lot of jump cuts and a lot of, uh, you know, just some, some general cuts to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a full vault together. Um, and then I'll probably do a vault or two uh, either off camera or uh, I was really thinking about doing a 0.5, like this is 22, like a 22.5 episode where I actually record uh, my vault runs in a fast forward mode. I'll put this to like, you know, 400%. So it'll be like a 15 minute video of four vaults with just some music in the background. Just so if you guys do want to see what I do during the vaults and, you know, want proof or, you know, whatever it is, we actually can see that together. Um, and also if anything happens, you know, you guys can catch it there. So. Uh, I'm gonna run this vault. I think I have everything. I probably should grab a few of these guys. Um, Cause you can't throw them when they're in here, right? I don't think you can. If I like cycle through this, I don't think I can, I can sip them. Um, I do kind of want to carry it. Let me see if I have any shulker boxes. I do, okay. Let me carry some one of these just with some stuff and with a few splash potions, just because I always like to have more just in case. And hopefully I don't lose my my thing again. Uh, cool. Um, I think that's everything. Let me grab one of these boys. And I think we're good to go. Let me turn my magnet on. Uh, I have all my stuff. I have my idol, which again is, is pretty decked out, right? It was Omega, so that's four levels. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll uh, we'll jump right in. Hopefully, we get some good modifiers, uh, and uh, let's go into it. We are a little bit low on vault ore. Uh, we just got a plain vault. Okay, cool. No modifiers. Uh, we are a little bit low on vault ore, so I might try to collect some of that if I get a you know mine room or whatever the room is. Um, what I've been doing in these vaults is probably not the best method. Rooms like this where I know pretty much that there's there's not a crazy amount of loot or there's nothing too too specific that I really would want to grab uh, maybe I don't know I kind of just run uh, I actually want to mark my exit in case uh, I cannot find the way out this baby zombie following me let's uh, run over here and let's just put a little waypoint here I forget my hotkey to do this I'll just go E for exit and we're actually gonna go to the let's go to the right so yeah, so I kind of skip these rooms where I I I don't know that there's nothing good, but I oh I have to go down a level. I know that you know I can find better stuff elsewhere, right? Um, I don't want to waste my time on these these small little vaults, small little rooms. I should say not vaults. Uh, so we're just gonna keep running here. Let me eat something real quick. So see how I have these diamond stuff in my inventory? That's just me not being used to the the method i know this room there can be a dungeon in it so if i were to go like this i'd actually pick them up in my dank so i just want to start getting used to clicking control clue q instead of shift click to put in my inventory uh, i think we could fight the boss on this run um we have enough buffs and obviously if we find everything we need uh, hello myself uh it could be very possible so we need uh five obelisks i think i see it quickly in the corner of my eye um let's quickly run here see if there's any chest Sadly, because we only got the no, we got no modifiers. We're not going to get gilded or you know lucky. So hopefully we're able to find a, a village room or a omega room or you know whatever the thing is uh, to give us a bit more loot. So nothing here on the quick glance. We're honestly just going to keep running. I'll take that compressed gravel though. I mine so quick. I'm not used to that because I only used to pickaxe before. Sand and gravel and all that stuff would uh, take a little bit longer to mine. Uh, I'm currently saving up my points right now, my skill points for, where did I come from? I came from that way. I think for either step, uh, which I actually don't know how many it is, might be three, uh, or the thing that gives me no fall damage. Because um, I take a lot of fall damage in the vault because I'm a little careless when I'm here. Uh, so I think that, I think step would make me a, a lot faster. Um, I mine so quickly. Stress monster. Uh... So all this stuff I should be actually dropping. Oh, fire hurts. Uh, I should be dropping instead of putting in my inventory. You have a fire sword, don't you? I did some damage. 
Let's kill these baby zombies with a little bit of lag there. I still am yet to get to any... Cr I got a vault diamond from uh, the named NPCs, named monsters. Uh, but I've yet to get anything absolutely... Oh, I didn't bring ender pearls. Uh, oh, luckily enough, there's some there. All right, let's let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's dig down. I don't see a, a, on my mini-map uh portal at the moment, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, let me dump. Oh, I want that, actually. Let me dump some of this stuff. So, see, if I control Q and drop some of this stuff, some of it I will actually put in my, uh, my danks, which I need to start doing a little bit. Uh, let's grab some of these. Can never complain with some extra ores. Oh, there's something there that I missed. That's okay. Let's check this room. There's nothing. Oh, there's some ore. Look at me go. Uh, let's mine through this real quick. I feel like I mine stone. I guess it's about the same speed as my netherite pickaxe. Um, all right, let's keep running here. We're going to go up. Kind of ignore all the mobs here. Little baby zombie. Yes, you're going to hit me like three times. So here I want to actually control Q. Remember, like I said, I need to get used to that because I'm not used to it block of diamonds. I'll take some ancient debris. Actually, there's a lot of damage. This nine. It's almost as good as my sword, sadly. I don't need this. So I don't know whether I should be breaking the chest. I feel like breaking the chest is the, the faster way to do it, but I am not all that used to it yet, right? Uh, so like here, if I go, right, it's, it's quicker. Uh, but it's also, I don't really know what I get, right? So there's junk in that chest. I'm getting all the junk as well. I think I just need to, to slowly get used to this thing. Um, there's honestly not that much in this vault. This is where I came from. Yep. Uh, not that much in this room. I think we're going to mine through here and then we're going to head up. Hello. So if I dig here, I'll pick this up. Okay. I see some ore lights, uh, another ore light. Let's go up here, let's get this chest. Poison, I can cleanse real quick. I should probably heal up eh? Okay, so those chests break instantly, which is good to know. Uh, my inventory is full of junk. Uh, let me, I thought I forgot my shulker box for a second. Oh, I actually have one of these in my inventory. Uh, let's throw down all the stuff that I do not need. Again, I am running a little bit slower than I normally do just because I'm trying to get used to this whole Danks thing. And normally, I'd kind of just loot until my inventory is full and then, you know, dump it and then loot until my inventory is full and then dump it and then, you know, kind of keep that that pattern going. So uh, I do have to run a little bit slower. I think eventually, obviously, it will go bit. Let me dump all the random blocks in here. Let's dig up. Let me get this Danks. Uh, construction mode to get those blocks. Now let's dig up. I do think this will be faster. Obviously, Danks is going to make me running and looting very quick. So we're going to build up here. We're going to go to the top and we're going to get out of this room. I do not know where I came from. I came from that way. So we are almost at the northest, northest, northernest. Oh, we hit me with poison. Let me kill you and heal. Uh, let's do a quick one of those. So once at the north, this is the north is northernest. I don't know the exact uh, word uh, of this vault. You can see there's all these rooms should be blocked off now. Uh, we did get a nice thing there. Uh, I think that's good. Let me dump some of this random junk I got. Oh, I got a vault diamond. I didn't see that. I guess I don't have vault diamonds in my... Uh... Oh, that's TNT. We're going to run away from that. I'm gonna pick up all that junk. Not if I'm fast. Cool, we're gonna keep running. I do not want to dilly dally. Oh, there's a treasure room there. I don't have a key. I think I only have one key part at the moment. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I get them. I'm pretty sure it's killing bosses. Uh, this room is pretty garbanzo. Let's not fall. Oh, never mind. We fell because uh, I love taking fall damage in this game. We're gonna build up here. Can we build up? Yeah, we can build up. We're good, we're good. All right, we're gonna build up here. We're gonna move on to the, oh, I guess I can't build up here. We can build up here though. We're gonna move on to the next room as this room is uh, kind of garbanzo. I got a ender watcher. Oh, that was from the TNT. What did they drop? 
Oh. Need to eat. So I before level 25 and before I had the uh, shard bag modifier perk thing, uh, I was not getting drops from the NPCs. Uh, well, I guess I was level 25 and they started spawning, but until I got the, the bag, I'm, I don't like this bee room. Until I got the bag, the shard bag or the soul bag, whatever you want to call it, I never got drops from these guys, so I don't know whether that's intended. Uh, if it is, cool. If not, I don't know if there's something wrong with my game. But uh, I just started getting drops now that uh, that I have this perk. So um, running through here, we haven't got too many. I haven't looted that much, honestly. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get used to danks. Uh, I do want step. It's going to be so much easier to run. Uh, this room scares me. Don't know why. I just got, oh, I'm sinking in pollen that I'm allergic to in real life. I mean, I feel like everyone's allergic to pollen. Um, okay, so we're gonna keep running through here. We're gonna go and hopefully find some goodies. I'd really like for one of you to drop a raffle thing. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be very kind. I'm just gonna get rid of these random blocks here. It's a very cool uh, redstone block. It, it activates when you look at it. It'd be very good for uh, like a hidden door of sorts. Um, Let's go through here. Again, this is kind of a meh room. We've kind of explored the north east-ish kind of side of the vault so far. So we're gonna head down a few rooms and then start heading west. Hopefully we're able to find all the obelisk. I really would like to fight the boss, especially, I mean, no modifiers isn't the craziest thing, uh, but it could be a good idea. And I don't know how exactly the, the boss crates work in this, right? I don't know whether the loot, is generated when you pick it up or the loot is generated when you kill the boss or the loot is generated when you place it down right because i have a lucky hat at home and i want to know if that's going to affect it uh what luck does in this i'm pretty sure it just allows more stuff to spawn it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting better loot or oh, another uh totem i believe it just means you're going to get instead of 10 things spawning you're going to get a chance of 12 things spawning right which i mean generally means you can get better loot right oh these guys both have swords I don't know why I opened my inventory there. Oh, I got another vault diamond. See, these guys have been dropping some okay loot, but it's not the loot I want, right? I want... I want um, a raffle ticket. I don't know if there's any other way to get it. I thought this was a puzzle room for a quick second because of the iron bars, but it's not. I got another, oh, I got another vault diamond. It's hard to see what I get sometimes because it goes right into my danks, right? So I know they drop... Uh, some crystals, I know they drop, not crystals, some money, like some vault bronze and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna jump down here, I'm gonna eat this cake. Oh, hello, you wanna join me here? Give me a uh, resistance usually, yeah, it gives me resistance, cool. We're going to switch to vein miner here real quick and we're gonna see if we can get any vault ore. No, we got some regular ore, which is okay. Just gotta fill my inventory so quickly, I already know. Ooh. A little game freeze. This happens to me a lot. Um, I'm not too sure why. I have like seven gigs of RAM uh, open when I play this game. Or not open, allocated, I guess is the correct word when I play this. Uh, and I don't have any other things open, so I'm not sure whether, I mean, I don't really have the, upgrading your computer is pretty expensive, right? I mean, RAM's not that expensive, but just generally upgrading your computer is pretty expensive. Uh, fun side, I don't need this. There's an ore that I need, I forget what it is. I literally said I needed it before I came in here. Uh, in last episode, is what I meant. I have a lot of junk in here. I'm also just going to dump it because I need to keep my inventory somewhat sorted. My drowning, I am, but because I have the perk that I just got. Uh, let's grab some more health potions here. While we're here, wasting some time, but that's okay. Pick up you, pick up you, and we're rolling. Uh, nice. I think I need the yellow vault ore that's rare. I forget what it's called. Sparkle teen, sparkle tine. I think that's what I need. To make uh to make some pogs. I forget why I need the, oh, uh to make Danks level two. Uh yeah, that was it, that was it. So yeah, so I need to find some some ore. Obviously this isn't the the best room for ore, but it still definitely has some ore, right? We're finding some some ore, it's not the end of the world, but or it's not the best thing in the world, but it's definitely better than nothing. 
Uh, I think that's everything in this room. There's obviously some of those trees that we can loot, but usually I don't. I don't find it too, too worth it for the single piece of vault ore. Usually I'll see it and I'll loot it there, but at the moment I don't see like that Benyatite. I could have grabbed that. I just uh, forgot there. So uh, this is a border room. I'm not sure exactly where we came from. Uh, I'm going to kill you and then I'm going to dump my inventory a little bit just so I can have a clear, uh, clear space here. There we go. And we're going to keep running. Uh, we need two more obelisks. We do have 10 minutes left, so we have plenty of time. And we'll keep on pushing through here. We are, uh, it's going to be a bit of a longer episode, I guess. Probably like a 35 minute episode, uh, because vault runs are, uh, hello little baby zombie, are pretty long. Uh, let's throw you on the ground. Let's head left. Let's head a little bit away from the vault, or from the entrance. Um, one thing I did uh, know, not know about, but uh, the graveyard rooms, which are pretty rare, I guess. I guess they're considered rare. I don't know whether they're Omega or they're rare. I've never really liked them because I feel like I never get a loot in them, right? Uh, that's why I got the, the the hunter perk where I can find chests through walls because apparently they're, everything's buried in there, right? So I was wondering where all this loot was that everyone was talking about in, you know, live streams and videos and, you know, just generally like even on the wiki, it's like a rated pretty high in the rooms. I'm just killing these to get some shards, by the way. That's why I'm uh, taking a little bit extra time. Uh, it turns out that there's a bunch of gilded chests buried everywhere, which I didn't know. And it, it's still pretty hard to get rid of a lot of mob spawn. Uh, but it, it's definitely worth it if you have a oh, actually cleansed. I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully I don't get poisoned. Uh, it's going to be annoying. Oh, I can just go down here and go back up. Uh, so yeah, so it's definitely worth it to, to dig around a little bit. Uh, obviously, I think it would take a long time if you didn't have the whatever the perk's called, um, Hunter, because you're kind of just digging in, in sand, right? I don't know if there's like a special spot where they always spawn in or whatever the reason is. I also realized I could be eating my hearty apples to get some more health, uh, but I am not because I don't think sometimes. Ooh, that was almost scary. Um, we're going to keep running through here. Actually, I feel like I'm not getting any loot from this, but I also realize that some of my stuff is going to my danks, right? So I could, I hate this room so much. It's good for compressed blocks. I'm going to go get that compressed end stone, and then we're going to bounce out of here. Uh, but other than this, the room's pretty garbage. And a site. Like they have these little, I've, I've never really jumped down there because it kind of just looks scary. Uh, because I, I won't be able to get out, right? Like if I use this ability, there's definitely some chests, but not enough to be worth it. Oh, I found another, another obelisk, which is good. That means we will be hopefully able to get out of here with fighting the boss uh, because that's what we like to do. Uh, there we go. Let's run away from these guys. Try not to fight too, too much. Not that I don't, not that I can't, uh, just more for time's sake. I'd rather, you know, find a room where it's actually worth looting and spend my time in there. Like a city room, ooh, hello. Like a city room or a, okay, let's keep running. I don't wanna stand there forever and fight these guys. Ooh, a crystal room. We're gonna stand a little bit of time in here. You know, we have nine minutes. Uh, I want to get some of these ores here. Any ore in here? Nope. Um, I see some Laramir in there. Let's build up here. Let's get some of this. I do want to eventually, like, when I make a, a bigger Danks, have one with all the ores in it. Have one with, you know, a lot of just stuff that I can find here. Uh, in it. Obviously, I could just make more level ones, but it... it you know, whole point of Danks is to not crowd my inventory, and crowding my inventory with Danks wouldn't really be the solution, right? So, uh, hopefully, we're able to find some stuff to get a level two. There's a lot of vault door in this room. Uh, to get a level two Danks here soon. Uh, but I think that will be a little bit as we need to run a few vaults to get that. Uh, I don't see any vault door here, right? Nope, we're going to keep running. Hello, zombies. Hello, zombies. That's a lot of you. Ooh, that's a rare ore. Okay, let's defend this little coal for a second. We're actually gonna go up. Let's get some Laramir, get the, what's that purple one called? Wootite. Dump some of this random blocks I have in here. We're gonna keep rolling. Uh, anything special in there? There's always something special, but whether I die from a creeper or not, that is the question. 
Um, let's see if I can get a little bit of a height advantage here. Oh, there's cake there. I'll eat you real quick. To get some resistance. Uh, I don't think I see. There's some there. Again, my inventory is so full right now with random, random blocks, right? Uh, let's see if I can kill you. Dump my inventory a little bit here. I'm set on fire. Let's see, if I'm not careful, I will, I will definitely die here, right? How did I get? Did I die? No. How did I get hearts? I didn't eat anything, did I? Oh, it was the, the cake gave me hearts, right? 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 Uh. Okay, spider, go away. I hate spiders in this pack. Uh, okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I really should heal. Okay, I'm gonna actually get out of here because it's very crowded. Um, I'll see if there's any more crystals up here where I see some loot in them. Uh, but I don't like fighting things with low health, especially if I want to fight the boss. I'd rather not burn through all my potions, so. Unfortunately, uh, even though I did say I need some ores, I, I wish it was a plentiful vault. I would have you know stayed here a little bit longer, but since there's no absolute guarantee about, oh, there's a vault, there's a thing up there. Uh, there's no absolute guarantee. I'm actually gonna build up there real quick. Absolute guarantee of how many vault ores I'm gonna get, right? If I got a plentiful or a, whatever the upgraded plentiful is, I definitely would have, oh, it's heart points. Uh, I can take it, right? Eat a little bit. So I have some saturation. Let me drink this because it might as well. Uh, let's get you. Let's just almost full heal. We'll grab our remaining potions here and we're going to go find the boss. Uh, let's dump my full inventory. It's not that bad, honestly. We're going to switch out one of these. Uh, we're going to right click the loot. Uh, kind of some garbage. Uh, and we're going to find our final totem, not totem, obelisk. Love that skin. I like the leg warmers. I was like, what hit me? Skeleton sniping. All right, let's hopefully we can find the totem in a good room. We do have a decent amount of time, right? So we could kind of explore a little bit to find a totem, but I'd rather find one and be 100% sure that... Uh, you know, I fight the boss and get out of here. Especially since this is a bit of a longer video. I think the first one we see, unless it's a completely garbage room, uh, we will fight. Oh, this is a dead end. Let me pull a U-turn here real quick. Uh, and then when we get to the boss room, we'll pillar up. We'll eat all our buffs and we'll get ready to dive in. I never realized that all the people here, I don't know whether they're the beta testers or the alpha testers, whatever you want to call it, for this pack. I know some of them are from Hermitcraft. I know some of them are just friends with Iskal in general. Uh, but I don't know everyone here, honestly. I, I, I've i watched Iskal back in the day. I've, I used to watch uh, Dom and... I'm trying to think of who else I used to watch. Uh, beef? I don't know if Beef's on Hermitcraft. Vintage Beef. Uh, but this is like back when I was in high school, right? So this is, uh, this is like five, six years ago. So this is like peak... Uh, peak Minecraft when it was the, the game to play. And it's what everyone... Oh, you're going to poison me, aren't you? Nope, too slow. When it was the game, to, oh, I could fight it here actually. I don't mind this place. If we're down here, it's it's not that bad at all. Let me toss this down, so I can proceed to. Can I not eat this? Oh, construction bag. I thought I could eat these. Huh? I really thought I could. Uh, can I not? Huh, okay, let me take these out of my inventory then. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, let me get the haste ones, let me get the cobalt. I only need one of these, one of these. Uh, let me grab one of these, I guess two of them. All right, let's put, I wanna kill that witch before anything bad happens. We're gonna kill some of these zombies here. Let me kill this gal real quick. Sorry, this gal. Uh, we're going to eat a few of these guys. Get our max hearts. Let's get Rampage ready. Let's... 
I haven't, I've never summoned internal yet. So this is the first time I summoned internal. Let's eat you, eat you. Uh, let's get my power bars ready. Let's jump down and kill some of these people, help our eternal out. It's the first time I start summoning internal. So I'm excited to see how well it goes. And let's fight this boss. Oh, this is the worst boss you can get. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage to it actually, so it's fine, but that was, that was, that was pretty easy to be honest. Uh, having a, make sure I have everything. Yep, yep. Having um, a power bar and I didn't even use, oh yeah, I did. And uh, Rampage gives you so much strength uh, because thing it's, it's plus four strength. So I had five strength and then 100% damage on top of that. So it's a crazy amount of damage uh, and we'll see what we got here. Um, this is empty. Obviously it's not what we wanted. Let's grab this. I'll put this back in here just so we can kind of see. Uh, we got, we got a sword. Uh, we got some chest plates. Uh, and yeah, pretty much some, just some random things. What's this give us? Vault bronze for some apples. Here we got actually, we got some three vault diamond, which is very good. We got a totem. Uh, we got a bit, little bit of ore here. Uh, so what I'm going to do in between this episode and next, well, first we're obviously going to roll our gear. I can't let that go to waste. Let me put my lucky hat on. Let's take this bulk here off so it doesn't get damaged. Cool. I'll take this off as well just so we don't get damaged here. Um, what we're going to do now is roll this stuff with my lucky hat on. Hopefully, I'm really hoping we get a good sword, honestly. Uh, we, we really need a damage upgrade in this vault. Um, common, common. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy. This is 7.4. Very bad. Vault chest plate. Very bad. Very bad. We'll open our relic here. We got... Mythic gem, I think, where we have four gems, four essences, which is good. We need one more. Same with Twitch emote, we need one more. So we'll be able to start getting our, our, our relic soon. Let's dump this garbanzo. I saw this withering cloud, cloud. ooh, English there. Uh, that seemed all right. This too, uh, the vault sword, it's this one as well. It's just below netherite uh, and the attack speed uh, for this is a bit faster, I think. I don't know whether. I honestly can't tell if it is. It's a fraction. So I, I really hope we get a, a better sword soon. Um, let me dump this stuff in here real quick. Uh, other than that, what did we get out of the vault in terms of this loot? Um, obviously, I don't know why the stone's in there. Um, didn't get a crazy amount there. Uh, I uh, want to lock you, please. Thank you. Uh, here, we did get some relic booster packs, some diamonds, some iron, uh, some star essence. Uh, I'm actually going to put this to a vault diamond. Where are they? They're here. Uh, just because I want to lock it. There we go. Uh, here, for gems, we did get some looted gems. Uh, which is good to see. Got a little bit of this, got some of this. Star since I have twice, let me take that out. Uh, we did get some ingredients here, some burger stuff, some vault dust, some skill essence, some mystery eggs, some vault plates, and of course, some Wu-Tex shards. My inventory is full, I'm gonna dump this stuff in here. Uh, we are able to make a few burgers. Uh, let me grab these Wu-Tex shards out. Cool, and yeah, that's pretty much what we got for loot. Obviously, if we did, uh, get a decent amount. I really want to make some upgraded danks, but I am missing, as you can see, some sparkle tine. Exactly what I thought. Okay, cool. So I'm missing some sparkle tines. So hopefully, I can get some some uh, ore out of one of these three um, vault crystals. I will look. I'll start moving this stuff downstairs. I might move my portal in my little uh, vault room. Uh, this actually has a lot of a lot of uh, durability. So. Um, in between this episode and next, I will, actually, I had uh, some stuff to open, didn't I? Some packs. Pack. Oh, relic. And let's get some packs. Some, uh, what do they call it? Boxes? Mystery box, right? Mystery boxes. Not that much, to be honest. Open these up. Some books, some obsidian. Not much. Uh, efficiency protection. That's not too bad. We can always use those. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. I know it was kind of nothing crazy happened. We did just kind of run a vault here. Um, I'm just looking. Step is five. Okay, both these are five. So yeah, we did kind of just run a vault here. 
uh, pretty basic vault, nothing crazy. There was no crazy modifiers on it. Uh, between this episode and next, I will run these free three vaults, maybe run a few more. I am running out of vault rocks, so I'll have to go get some soon. Um, and hopefully we get a bit more loots. I will, obviously, if I get totems and you know tools and all this, I will not open it until I'm with you guys. But thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. I appreciate you all watching. Thank you guys so much for the, the support on this episode. I, I know I kind of just started this channel, but getting, you know, 40, 50 views on my videos really uh, means a lot to me. It's people that are watching them, you know, and, and hopefully enjoying them, whether you guys like and subscribe. Um, we're, we're building up our, our channel very slowly. I do eventually want to start streaming this summer as well once... Uh, things calm down a little bit here uh so i probably will start streaming over on twitch which is now if you go look at my youtube channel it is there uh i've streamed only a few times and they're mostly just test streams right me playing with a friend or testing with a friend uh so don't look too much at those vods uh i mean you can but uh yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode episode of 22 my vault hunter series please like and subscribe if you did enjoy and have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day